Our security and political analysts have called on the country's security agencies to clamp down speedily on perpetrators of violence ahead of the December elections. It comes after police failed to arrest anyone involved in the assault of uh, MP for Dudududu Ni Lante Vanderpoy. Mr. Vanderpoy, who has served notice he will report the matter to the Speaker of Parliament, claims the perpetrators' identities are known. Security expert Adam Bona is worried uh, lessons have not been learned from the Ayawaso West Wagon by-election violence. Someone would have to act quickly. And I am, I'm happy you have shaken. Uh, on the other side of the line, especially he being, uh, you know, a clergy, he belongs to uh, those we would have to fall on when issues are getting out of hand. Because then, whether you like it or not, the churches and the mosques are going to be open. People would be people listen to people like him and the chief imam and you know the Christian council and all that. Uh, I think that some form of dialogue should uh, would have to start if it hasn't started. And the security agencies would have to act. Now, I listened to Honorable uh, Nevan Dapoy, I think, on, you know, this morning and I think last night I listened to him talking and you can see that he's in pain. And as to whether these people have been arrested and uh, if they haven't been arrested, then that will not be deterring enough uh, because then we, are, we have just about less than 100 days to the general elections, both parliamentary and uh, presidential. If these things are not done, ensuring that people uh, are punished when they take the laws into their own hands, then uh, we are going to see probably uh, an increase with regards to violence when we get to the polls. And uh, that area, there are a few things the police would have to do. But the security task force, Places like that have always been in the news when it comes to elections and uh, electoral uh, violence. Let's put those places under siege. Let's ensure that we have, you know, heavy presence of the police, the, you know, security task force, who would have to ensure that the uh, place is properly protected. If not, we, um, I, um, I can say, I'm not being a prophet of doom, but what I've heard from the people, uh, some of them who have called me, means that they are preparing uh, probably for a battle in that area, which for me is not the way we should go as a nation. It's just uh, going to the polls and casting a ballot.